Five years ago, I was diagnosed with young onset Parkinson's disease and went to my uh, physical right after I started at Polaris and I thought I had a tennis elbow. He referred me to a neurologist with, and then within 10 minutes, she told me I had Parkinson's disease. Um, just with my family background and my grandma having Parkinson's and uh, the genetic stuff, kind of all put it together, but uh, really my left arm wasn't swinging at all. My grandma was diagnosed with Parkinson's about the same time I was born in 77, 78. She fought it the best she could for 25 years, but the hardest part with telling my family was my grandma was really, probably had the worst case of Parkinson's. We watched her fight it for many, many years, and then uh, at the end it, it took over. So telling my mom and telling my dad and my aunts, it was, uh, a little bit difficult because it's like I had to tell them, well, mine's going to be different than grandma's. I don't know how to tell you it's different, but it's going to be different because that was the first thing my dad thought about is how tough it was on my grandpa at the end. It's just very strange. There's nothing to like fight right away, you know, like a cancer diagnosis or something. It's more, um, you know, exercise was the only thing we could do to con control it and that we had in our control. So we kind of just went full force with that. Exercise has really helped me uh, and I'm I think uh, pushing the envelope there is, is what's making me stronger. Jason is not my client, and I'm not Jason's client. Jason and I have an extraordinary relationship, and it took me a couple of years to realize it. And I am so blessed that he's been sent to me. Not only has Jason made tremendous gains, which makes me so, so proud, but truthfully, this might sound conceited, so have I. He's pushed me to heights where I'm losing weight, where I'm starting to run again. I've always been a distance runner, but I kind of abandoned the long distance stuff. And the day he, he texted me and said, what do you think about me running a half marathon? I had to pause and say, you know, be polite. <laughs> um, he's a big guy, he's a lineman. And then I said, yeah, let's go for it. There'll be days where I'll say, no, I don't feel like working out. And he won't have any of that. He makes me work out. So our, our relationship is just so special and it's just been so awesome. It's just, it's fun to hang out with a winner too. And he truly is that. He truly is that. He's a dear, dear friend. After about three years of, after my diagnosis, we, we knew we had to tell, tell everybody pretty soon because I, I started ramping up my medicine a little bit. I started seeing a little more symptoms. I could only use the excuse my back hurts so long. So. Uh, because uh, I was kind of limping along a little bit. It's different for everybody. I think that a lot of people, it's probably more beneficial to just to be open about it right yeah. away. I feel like it was more complicated with his, his job and our kids' ages and just trying to figure out. And I think everyone's journey is different and that you just have to figure out when is the right time for you. And I felt like we had enough support from the people that we did yeah. tell that we were doing okay with it. Yeah. We want to make sure we, we told everybody that I'm okay and. Uh, dealing with the best I could so um, that was where the, the golf tournament came into play. We kind of always had an idea of what we wanted to do a golf tournament for something and we kind of thought that uh, Team Copaz would be a good way to, to support the Parkinson's research so the reason why we support Parkinson's research is being diagnosed at 36 you know I'm more than likely I will be living with Parkinson's longer than uh, I did not know about Parkinson's so we're here to, to fight and I want to get a cure. Um, we've met a lot of good people through the U and through Team Fox and um, there's a lot of people fighting for the same things we are. I think it's really motivating that when his grandma had Parkinson's, the deep brain stimulation was just new and so yeah. and it was experimental. And so just knowing like how far yeah. things have come is just so motivating to think of the future and, and how far we can come with research. Yeah. You know, if it's not for me, it's for the kids, right? Or, or future generations going ahead. So um, if they need to use my situation to help uh, cure this disease and hopefully in my lifetime, but if not, uh, the next one's for sure. So um, that's why we're here, fighting for research. We're not unique in this journey at all, but uh, it's, it's definitely a rare diagnosis at 36 years old. But we've jumped in this fight to potentially get to the cure for Parkinson's in my generation, but more, more of uh, uh, making sure that the next generation doesn't have to go through what we have to do with this one. So thank you very much.